Welcome back right now. You're taking a live look out from our Chevy Storm Tracker. You can see that rain coming down. We'll be checking in with our first born storm team coming up in just a bit. But first, widespread heavy rain is in the forecast today and throughout the rest of the week in Charlotte. We could see rainfall totals up to five inches and nine inches for the mountains and foothills. WCNC Charlotte's Rob Hughes live tonight on Riverside Drive. Uh, Rob, we know that area very prone to high water. Yes, Sarah. In fact, where we're standing right now was completely underwater during that serious flooding along the Catawba River almost a year ago. The man who lives in that brown house right there tells me he has plans to lift his entire home 12 feet to protect against future flood damage. This stretch of homes on Riverside Drive is all too familiar with the damage that can come with heavy rain. Last June, Bill Strain's home had water halfway up his window and all throughout the house. This has devastated a lot of people's lives that some of them will never recover. After the flood last June, Charlotte Stormwater began buying out some homeowners along Riverside Drive to mitigate future risk and damage. Several homes have already been demolished. Out of the 100 homes that go along Riverside Drive, Lake Drive, River Haven Drive, about 40 homes reported water inside their living space. With significant rainfall in the forecast, the Catawba River is already swollen. John Wendell with Charlotte Stormwater asking people to clear debris from storm drains in front of their homes, even in areas where flooding isn't an issue. We've seen it before and it's flooded before, and we just want to make sure that people are warned, people are safe. Uh, when these waters do come up. Strain, meanwhile, is prepared for rising water levels, but not to the degree he saw last year. And regardless of what happens, he's staying put. So this is my dream home, you know, on the river. Strain says he expects to see that water come up into the yard again, but nothing like last year when he had five feet of water in his entire living space. Damage that he is still dealing with again, like I said, almost a year later. Live in Northwest Charlotte, Rob Hughes, WCNC Charlotte.